and hello there and welcome back to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video you may have recalled a couple weeks ago I did a review of this Jinhao 80 fountain pen with a Lamy style nib and I put a Lamy 1.1 stub on it uh, but at the same time I ordered a Lamy cursive nib which has just arrived and I promised I would show you what it was like if I put that nib on that pen so let's open it up and let's take a look at this nib there it is you can see it has some Chinese characters on there I'll try my best to, to translate that and uh, put it on screen but it does say Lamy and it is a cursive nib whatever that means it uh, looks more like an architect style nib but it's so tiny I don't know that it's going to make any line variation at all but we shall find out also people said that they had difficulty getting the nib off of the Jinhao 80 to begin with I showed a method for using a piece of tape and pulling it off that was a bit of uh, video magic there because I had to get it started the first time now it'll probably come off with some tape but what I did to start with I took a jeweler's size slot screwdriver and just gave it a bit of a push under here just gave it a little bit of a, a head start by prying it up so it goes along that rail a little bit you can see it's starting to move there now and once I got it sliding along there i am use my tape this pen is inked that's why the gloves and then you can, I got my thumbnail under there because I'd started a little bit and I can pull it off using the tape just like that now let's put the Lamy cursive nib on there I hope I hope it writes well because I think it's going to look sharp so we just line up the rails with the rails on the feed give it a little bit of a start and then give it a push just like that we're going to give it a moment for that ink to run down inside there or I could give it a little bit of push here by pushing that converter down slightly to get some ink flowing okay so this is the Jin Hao 80 with a Lamy cursive nib let's see that's vertical and that's horizontal so the vertical is slightly thinner than the horizontal so yeah you do get a little bit of natural line variation of course pushing it it's fairly stiff it's a steel nib Let's check the wetness it looks pretty wet and this ink is a Roshizuku Takisumi well that's very enjoyable <laughs> I'm enjoying that a lot uh, not just from the writing aspect from but also from the looks I mean that looks terrific doesn't it and it's got a lot of feedback you can probably hear that and let's get the measurements on this vertically horizontally so according to my Richard Binder chart uh, the vertical line is 0 0.3 millimeters in thickness which is about a Western XXF or a Japanese XF and the horizontal line 
there is a 0 0.6 which is a Western medium or a Japanese medium to broad well that's very nice and this nib I think only cost me about $25 I'll put up the listing from where I bought it but they can be had at uh, Goulet pens as well so thanks for watching this shorty as always thank you for watching and that's all she wrote <laughs>